In this series of videos on LED strip, something he likes to call lead tape, today we're going to look at the connections to the strip itself. In which forms are we going to look at, Gordon? We're going to look at two methods. First one we're going to look at is soldering, which I'd suggest is the most uh, difficult one. And if you're not used to soldering and haven't soldered before, starting with a lead tape is probably not the best idea in the world. Okay, all right. And the second method? And the second method, we're going to look at a very simple IDC connection. Okay, so we're going to start with that soldering process. Yeah. Is there any considerations before we start? I see you've strapped yourself in like a small child at a supermarket, so you can't go anywhere. I'm strapped in, so I've uh, basically what I'm doing is I've connected myself to Earth. We've got another video that talks a little bit more about that, but that's just to minimize the chances of static electricity damaging the lead tape. Okay, your soldering iron's all set up, and it's quite important you've got a decent looking soldering on there. Can you tell me the thinking behind that? Okay, so uh, in the instructions you'll see from Osram, uh, there's some pretty two criteria that are pretty important. There's the time, uh, three seconds maximum when you're making that solder connection. Okay. And the temperature of the solder iron about 350 degrees C. Now, so, you know, that, that points itself to quite a high spec soldering iron okay. uh, to get that power in and to, to keep that tip temperature at the right at the right point. I'm, I'm now a little bit concerned because if it's it's one of my early soldering attempts, I've got a three second window in order to make my connection. Can you, you talk me why three seconds? Yeah, so three seconds. Um, so a, a normal PCB, you'll find electronic equipment pretty thick, made out of fiberglass, yeah. pretty hard to damage. Uh, lead tape tends to be built on a plastic based uh, PCB material. So essentially what you're doing the longer you're in there the more chance you have of melting the plastic okay. pulling the copper tracks off and basically destroying the lead tape okay so so a quite you know, reasonable process in order to make these connections with a very small amount of time so you're going to demonstrate it for us yeah so we're going in uh, so we're going to do uh, three things so the first thing is uh, tin up the pads on the led tape itself okay uh, then tin up the wires we're going to attach to the tape and then bring the two together. Okay. So I'll, I'll go in, I'll, I'll, I'll tin, the, uh, tin the pads up, clean the solder line bit off, I fumble around, okay. get in there, quick process, so, hold on, let's get, get that nicely wetted up. And we're going in, so there's that, that's one done. That's quite a quick process, that's like three seconds, yeah? Yeah, I like to call it three pink elephants. People count to three, that's too quick. It's three pink elephants, Gordon, so that'd be one pink elephant? Yeah, two pink so I've done that. So between soldering operations, let them cool down. So that, that'll be, yeah, it doesn't take very long. So while we're waiting for that, I'll just tin up the wires. Okay. So again. You've had some practice at this though, because you, you're doing this at, you yeah, know, I've done it, Gary, so at the end, you yeah. can have a go. So, uh, yeah, so I've done a lot of soldering over the years, not for a while, but um, yeah. That's that's it. So I've done done the two pre preparation operations. Yep. Uh, so now, in case of going in and just uh, just join those wires back together. Okay. Got to be careful that we don't run the soldering across the two tracks. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, it, again, it's something like we're soldering wires on like this. You almost like you need to have three hands. Okay. Um, well, I'm not going to help you, so you have to yeah, shove it on. Yeah. I'm not on site with you. You have to do it yourself. So, can, starting with the positive, are we? Yeah, starting with the positive, so I've done. So okay. you see that was pretty quick. It was. Uh, but that's because we've done that, that tinning process first. That's why it, that's quite important. Okay, so preparation of actually laying it in the right position is also important, isn't it? You haven't got it moving around. I see you spending a little bit of time just yeah. lining it in. And again, sure that three it. second starts once the solder and iron goes in. Yeah, yeah. so there you go. So I've done that uh, there. Okay. And yeah, so that's first connection done. So maybe took longer to talk about doing it than it actually did to do it, I would suggest. Yeah, that. well, you can, say, you can have a go, Gary. We might have another, another outtake on that and see how you get on. Yeah, um, maybe bonus feature at the end will be my attempt, yeah, shall we stay say. On. Stay on for that. Okay, so we, we've done that by tinning the ends and tinning the actual uh, LED strip itself. Yep. Uh, is there a little tip or trick that you think could make that a slightly easier process? Uh, so you'll know across the eFix we love a feral. Um, so what I've, uh, we've also done is, is, is make up some, uh, is you can instead of an alternative to soldering is to use uh, ferrules, which okay. essentially are tinned copper sleeves. So putting them on two wires can miss out one of the tinning processes. Might be something you give the, if you've got a lot of lead tape to do, um, you know, prepare these in advance. Right. Good job for the apprentice. Probably got smaller eyes, can actually see to thread them in the first place. Um, and yeah, so that's an alternative we're possibly creating a neat and almost standardized connection across lots of lead tape. 
So you're all set up and ready to have another go at soldering, but this time you've ferruled the ends of the cable, so no tinning of the conductors, so that takes that process away. You've tinned the track, is that correct? Yep, traps all pre-tinned, ready to go. So you're, you're ready just to make those final yeah, connections now? Well, there we go. Do the old three-handed three -handed juggling act again. Okay, so it's all about getting in the right place before we start. Got that. Time clock starts for the three seconds once that soldering iron goes in. So you, you're off and running and you go for your three seconds. Okay. One done. Yeah. Uh, I mean, interesting if, if we want to, is ferrules themselves are, uh, yeah, I mean, un, uninsulated ones, incredibly cheap. So it's not an expensive process to do. Okay, so we're on for, the, on for, in for the second. Yeah, for the negative one now, your three second starts once your soldering iron hits. That one done as well? Yeah, that well was done. quick. All oh, right, okay. So, so is that a top tip? Would we say that's an e-fix top tip? That's a top tip, yeah, trying some ferrules. Obviously, I make it look easy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hang on for the end, maybe, not to see the <laughs> same. Uh, so, but we've used soldering on there, so you've got two, two ways. It might be a case that you're on site and you've only got your soldering on and solder. Well, that's fair enough. You tin the, tin the conductors and tin the track and you're away. But if you want to use those ferrules, that just looked a fraction easier. A nice, clean connection as well onto there. However, I'd like an easier way of doing it on back of that. So you talked about this insulation displacement connector. Shall we look at that next? Yeah, we'll look at that next. So we're all set up and ready to look at the IDC connector, probably the electrician's go-to connection for the LED strip. So show us how to do it then, Gordon. Okay, so what we've got here is our IDC connector. There's quite a few of these around on the market of varying quality. So okay. I've used a lot of these over the years and this one is particularly good. Uh, a few. Uh, things to watch for the first bit why it's particularly good has this small uh, adhesive pad on the back which a lot of the time when you've made the connection at the led tape you, you don't want the connector yeah. flapping around in the end of the surface and possibly even sometimes it pulls the tape back off the uh, the surface you've pulled it to okay. so yeah that's useful um they're very fragile connectors in terms of if you just pick one up and accidentally you can close them down before you've put them on the lead tape not suggesting that somebody might have done that earlier on uh, once they're closed up, uh, they're pretty tough to get back off again. Um, dead simple to operate. So the first bit, just peel back the um, adhesive tape on the back of the lead strip. Oh, right, yeah. You don't want to leave that in there, do we? Don't want to do that. Um, and then just, just push, uh, just waggle that end into the end of the IDC connector. And see it's Making sure you line up your positive and negative correctly. Yep, I've done them, matching, the, yeah. matching red and black. Uh, so that's in there. Uh, once you're happy that's pushed all the way in, it's just a case of just scrunch that down. Heard it click there, was that? Yeah, yeah. a good firm click, and that's it, job done. Wow. So yeah. now I can't, you know, that's that firmly on there. There's a little tiny little plastic pin actually goes through the PCB. Okay. Just so to make sure that's not Insulation displacement, similar to what we're using on our J45 when we're doing yeah, the same, same connecting the process. Same there. sort of approach, yeah. Okay. So we can see why that's the go-to for the electrician, the IDC connector. Mm. However, showing both, Gordon, what's the advantage maybe of using the soldered connection? Okay, so solder is uh, great. So obviously that, even though it's an incredibly slim profile um, connector, uh, if you're really tight on space in terms of height, oh, right. you know, perhaps even in some uh, under cabinet lighting or some really small cabinets, then that obviously takes up a bit of space. So soldering could be less space if you make neat connections on the end of your soldering. Okay. Um, the, the, the general advice uh, from, from Osram on this is if you're installing these where it is incredibly difficult to get back to, so say you've put some lights in a, in a room and it's a, it's a really high corner and you're gonna need scaffolding to get back there, yeah. the advice is still to use uh, soldered connections. Right. Uh, IDC, you know, depending on how well you make that connection, how well versed you are, you know, these can actually, yeah, they, they can actually, not, not saying fail, but they can, you know, it is a weak point in the system. So a permanent connection use a soldered connection because it can be a terrible process maybe to get back to that area in which you've made that connection. Yeah. Is there a third solution to this problem, Gordon? Yeah, so the third solution, if you, if you don't want to solder, you, you don't want to get involved in cutting the lead tape down, uh, Osram's project partner, and there's a link uh, in the description below to take you to their website, they offer a full project service where they'll uh, cut the lead tape to length, prepare any extrusions, profiles, add the right length of cable on, make sure all the LEDs carefully matched up. So that's a great solution if you just want a turnkey 
ready to install. So they come pre prefab just effectively in, in you go and install. Everything all done. He's trying to get away with the next bit, isn't he? Because no one's seen that soldered one light up yet, or the one with the insulation displacement connector. So I think before we finish this, well, let's see if those connections are yeah, any good, Gordon. Uh, this could be a bit embarrassing, <laughs> couldn't it? If it doesn't work. Um, so, uh, and this will be the take you get. This will be the take. There's a one take. So we're trying to work the power supply. So we've got our lab so power supply here. We go. here. Oh, we've got nothing at the minute. Are you ready? Nothing at Are the you minute. ready? Here we go. Oh. Bask in the rosy glow of lead tape. 